Hey Taquitos, this is Carla from HTML Stars and today to celebrate the channel's third anniversary I'm going to be answering to your questions. The first question is from Miraculous3199. They ask, how did the idea of making a Luca X Miraculous series came up? Well, it started out after I started to get into Luca and I was looking on through Tumblr to find some fan art and some stories about Luca, Alberto, Julia, and all those characters. And I stumbled upon in a fan art of Luca w with the Ladybug Miraculous. And I thought he looked pretty nice. And I really liked the idea of combining two of my favorite cartoons together. And so I decided I wanted to make my own take on the Ladybug and Luca combination AU crossover thing. I also decided to add some changes to the story and to the powers of the Miraculous. Not all of the Miraculous will be presented in the story, but you'll see once I upload more videos of the series. The next question is also from Miraculich3199. They ask, what's the story of your channel's creation? Like, how have you decided to do it? Well, let's see. The channel was actually my opportunity to upload videos on YouTube. Videos I make with some characters I created and some with characters I would love to be introduced in future series. Mm. I originally wanted to make videos about a series of characters based on a canceled fanfiction I had that was based on the future children of the Nicktoons and it had a plot that combined Tiny Toons and Ever After High. It was called Children of Nicktoons All-Stars or C-O-N All-Stars which in Spanish will be uh, Hijos de Nicktoons All-Stars or HDN All-Stars. Now you can get why the name of the channel was originally that. However, mm, I started losing interest in doing those videos and especially it got worse when my video uh, where I, where me and my friends go and meet Ladybug and if me and my friends were in Miraculous Ladybug got so popular. I was thinking of changing the name of the channel, but because of the popularity of the video, I wasn't sure whether to do it or not, so I just changed my profile picture and decided to change the meaning of DHD and All Stars in the name of the channel. The D and the N now are the ignitions for my last name. As for H, it means happy. The next question from Miraculous3199 is, what else do you like but Luca, Miraculous, and Hell of a Bus? Well, ex excluding Has Been Hotel, I also like Five Nights at Freddy's, Invader Sim, and recently got into South Park, but not as much as the others. The next question from Miraculous3199 is, When and how did you find Gotcha and to start making OCs and series? Well, I started to notice about Gacha when I was 12 years old, I think. I started playing with a little app called Gacha Verse, and I started to make my own OCs with them. But the problem is that Gacha Verse was a little limited because you could only put the characters on one on one place or another. Later on, when I was like 14 or 15, I think, I started to get into Gacha Club and no, Gotcha Life, sorry. Gotcha Life. Gotcha Life was a lot better. And it had more options and more space. I started to make a few private videos on the characters of the children of Nicktoons. Eventually, when my parents find out my dedication to make these videos, they suggested me the idea to make my own YouTube channel. And I said yes. Please comment down below if you would like me to show you some information about the cancelled fanfiction about the children of Nicktoons and the characters that were supposed to be part of the series. The next question from Miraculich is, 
Is drawing just a hobby, or are you planning going further on it? And for now, drawing is a hobby, but I am planning to improve in my designing skills, possibly for a future job. The next question from Miraculate Sturdy Wine Ninety Nine is, "What does your user slash channel's name mean?" Well, like I said, for the H, it's happy. Well, the N and the D are for my last name. The next question from Miraculous Sturdy Wine Ninety Nine is, "When and how you discovered your love for those movies series you're into?" Well, I got to look up because I got interested in the movie when the trailer first came out. It was nice. I really liked it. The first episode of Miraculous I watched was Bopina. I got into the show. I thought it was interesting, and I really got into. The drama and the romance between Marinette and Adrian. Well, hell of a boss. The first episode I watched was the circus, and it was interesting to see how the main characters they met each other as kids.、And、even though I thought it was cute, I wish that the whole idea of showing that these two were meant to be together could have been done differently. The final question on Miraculous Thirty One Ninety Nine is: Is tacos your favorite food? And not exactly. I do love tacos, but my favorite food is actually breaded steak with fries. I like to eat them in torta or in tacos. The last question is from Carlos Del Pino, Seven Hundred Twenty One. He asks, "Do you have a plan to upload a story with a new characters?" Yes. In fact, I'm writing a book about them. As for gotcha stories, I'm not sure, but maybe we'll see. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and I hope you're satisfied with the answers I have given you to your questions. Have a wonderful day. God bless you, and thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye.